Hi guys, welcome to Dee Dee's Art. Okay, so I have tried to do this video uh, once before, but I had Netflix on in the background and um, for some reason the whole video got disallowed. So, I'm going to try and do it again with total silence. The only thing we'll, you, you will probably hear will be my dog's breathing in the background. Right. This is a video on how I get my lines down onto my paper, my uh, outline of the um, thing that I'm going to draw. Here I have got a picture of a, a bearded dragon that I've just completed. So I shall put that to the side for now. I've printed that off on normal printer, everyday printer that you get. Um, I get my piece of paper. Here I've got because I've used this already in the last video, I've got my sticky bits on it. So I'm going to have to take those off to show again. Right, so I get my piece of paper. This is my sheet of paper that I will be drawing the dragon on. The bearded dragon on. Put it there. Get my, it's a like, um folder you know then things that you put folders in it's just one of them and I've just cut it up just so I can draw squares onto it basically I place that onto my piece of paper just about three two three millimeters either side so you've got like two millimeters just just so that you can see where your lines are, where your dots are. Then you get a, uh, can't move now, <coughs> a pencil. Uh, I'm currently using just a normal 10B um, pencil graphite stick. Um, make sure that you've got your lines level with your piece of paper. I'm absolutely making sure of this. Like I've got a piece of solar tape again that's still stuck to it from the last time. So I've got to take that off. Right, so we will get there eventually. Sorry guys. Oh my god, I am do you know I am having the day from heck today. I better not say the word usually say in case it's um I'm not, I'm not allowed for kids <laughs> um right so i put the piece of paper here and I will put a little line on my sheet here and a little line here on my paper underneath and a little line here here and follow the lines out up, all the way up then I will do the same here find my this is how I usually do it find my line and put it underneath the bay take your pencil and put it underneath just just so you find the line I would advise taping this down really but I'm just doing this as a quick show of how I do it and I'm hoping that this one gets allowed on YouTube. I can't believe the last one didn't get allowed on YouTube. I don't understand it. Maybe I've got a lot to learn. Um, so yeah, keeping your lines in line. Make the same lines the bottom on your on the bottom of your piece of paper there there and there then you can lift that off then you get a ruler you need a long ruler for this guys quite a long ruler then I've got a HP pencil um I am going to tape it down now so it doesn't move when I'm putting my lines down onto it. 
I've actually got a piece of white paper underneath because my um, bench is like sort of <laughs> um, old thing and I lined and I actually wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to take this to a, you don't need to tape it to a white piece of paper is what I'm trying to say. You can tape it straight to your desk once you've done that bit. Um, so yeah, tape it down so it doesn't move, just stick it there. Just so it doesn't move, right, get your lines, line that one up with the one at the bottom. Ouch, sorry guys, I have got a poorly wrist, so I, I'm struggling getting my lines. Get that right with that one and that right with that one. And very, 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 very lightly. Only very lightly guys, really lightly. You don't want to indent the paper at all. Basically, so it's just barely there basically. And the same again with your other one. Line. And then same again with your other one. Line. Never look straight when I do it. <laughs> this is weird. My eyes must like sort of cross over or something. Um, but it is. Uh, the same again with. Um, oh poop. I'm going to have to line them back up now because I didn't get my lines on the opposite side. So, get it lined back up again. Get so that my lines are back on again, yes. And make sure that I get a line. Get my line on my paper from my guide. Once you've made this guide, you'll find it so much easier in the front. It's just making that guide. They basically need to make it like five centimeters by five centimeters all the way around, or four centimeters if you want. It depends how much you want to draw in each box. Because that's basically what you're doing. You're going to be putting that over your, your um, uh, reference file. So. Oh, poop, I've done that a little bit too low, but it doesn't matter, it's only slightly low. Uh, you're going to be putting that over the reference photo, which I should, will show you in the moment. In a moment. <coughs> and, um... I want to see if this gets uploaded to YouTube. There is nothing in the background. I'll have to use earphones from now on if I want to watch Netflix while I'm doing a video. If it doesn't, if that's the problem because I can't understand or see looking through what the problem was. Right, now, right, there you've got your piece of paper with your lines on. There you put your, I put my, um, I don't, depending on whereabouts on my paper, I want my little man to be I think we'll have him a little bit forward into the fourth one so I think we'll take him no we won't take him that far take him to about there take him to about there and then we will tape him down so he stays there 
can tape him. I also tape him down like so. And then I also do have him on my um, iPad as well so that um, I'm using Scotch Magic Tape by the way at the minute it, it pretty much comes off quite easily. Um, I also do have him on my iPad in front of me so I can see the detail properly because print off obviously doesn't give you much detail and I like to get detail, detail into my drawings. So um, yeah I do have um, my iPad in front of me as well or my um, Mac either which way which one I'm using at the time and um, that's how we do it so we're basically we're copying exactly each square just whatever is in each square if you want to cover it up to make it a little bit easier you can you know if you want to like sort of like um, I don't know um, cover that up and um, sort of like I don't know uh, cover that up as well <laughs> I don't know how you would do it I've never done it myself but if you it would make it easier just to copy what's in that box then by all means do so I don't know why you would want to do that but maybe I don't know I've often thought about maybe because sometimes you just don't want to see the whole picture because it frightens you you think oh my god I've got to do all that yet and then I just do this, this this is just the way I do it just like yeah like that then it comes down and around over then we need to be joining in about let's have a measure is two and a half was that from the end of the ruler or no that was from the millimeter so we used two from a millimeter so you start there you need to bring this round and up really 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 lightly do it at first so you you could just like you just probably have a million lines till you find the right one that you're happy with But I know it goes from there and then it comes to about here until it starts coming around. And it's putting me off because he's got a little bit of let, like less his leaf on his nose here. <laughs> So it's put me off. But yeah, it comes around like that. <laughs> Basically. If you can see, it comes around here. It goes down and around. There. Like that. It's put me off because of that bloody lettuce leaf. I got a like lettuce leaf in gear. <laughs> I'm gonna put that lettuce leaf in for now because otherwise it might put me off in the front in the beginning. Right, um, then it comes down round about round here. I mean, you can be a lot slower and um, take more take more time because if you're new to this, then obviously you're not gonna be. And little lizard probably isn't the best way of me showing you what to do. To be fair, 
so but you get the gist of it don't you so his eye his eye if we measure from millimeters the bottom of the eye is two and three up two and three up so it's there that is the bottom of it of his eye of her eye sorry this girl so we know her eyes there so we can sort of gather it's going to come round here somewhere, isn't it? And up. And down. And then. This is just the main shape, guys. Remember, you're not thinking about um, your um, detail right now. Just get your main shape in first before you start fiddling around with detail. I think it's going to be around there. I have already drawn this, so I, don't, I also do know where everything is already, so I'm sort of like a little bit cheating because I already do know where things are because I've already drawn it once. So, um, yeah, hmm. cheating. You can always do really, really cheat as well, and trace it if you want. It, well, it's not cheating. It's uh, people say that uh, tracing is cheating, but I don't think it's cheating. If you can do it, the biggest part of drawing a um, pet portrait is the um, the filling in, and you can't trace a portrait the detail. You can't. You cannot trace it. So it comes down here and around again and up, up here I can't believe as well because that last video was like an hour long so I'm not going to make this one this that long because I just don't understand it. Don't understand why it's just not allowed it. It's really bugged me. It's really done my head in. So anyway, you get the kid. Ow! You get the gist of this now, don't you? It's like um, colouring books when you was little, you when know, you used to have to draw in the same box. There's his eyeball, her eyeball, and the outside of her eye comes to about there on the line, and it goes around. So if it gets banned again, Pep, it's going to be your snoring and you're going to be out of my office every time I'm, up, I'm filming. <laughs> this is my that's not fair. I feel like I've got to draw this all over again now, so I'm getting dead bored. Don't like drawing things twice. Don't know why. I just do not like drawing things twice. Um, uh, there you go. There is her eye. 
Oh, there's her eyes coming through. Um, that bit's white at the top, and then it comes dark around here again. Remember, this is just the do this really lightly, guys. I can't stress how much you need to do this lightly. So, if you do need to rub out, you're not going to be able to see it. And you do need to rub them lines out afterwards as well, so you do need to do them ever so lightly. So there you are getting your um you are getting your basic shape for this. Is it? No. I ain't even gonna gonna go any further than the stressed bit on this bit because this is a little sleep. And this bit did me I didn't last time as well because I didn't know what was underneath the lettuce leaf. But I figured her head just went straight up and over like this. And that's what I did. And apparently it was right. So up and over. to it and then pumped it all up, bluffed it all up, whatever you call it. Uh, that's that bit, so that's that bit and it needs to come down there like right? that. There we have a spike and down here and down here we have a spike as well it's around there and then there's a little spike there and comes to another spike but the spike is comes out about there And then there's a like dutch nudge there and it comes out there like I say this is probably the worst thing I could teach you how to do this with probably better off doing with a dog it'd be easier <laughs> but if you learn learning the hard stuff then you find other stuff easier. get a nose you need to measure I'm gonna measure ouch from the top down to the top of her nose millimeters is one plus four so it's one plus four and it's about the about here one plus four it's about there but I'm gonna measure how many millimeters across from the biggest part is it's one plus Oh no, so that's one plus four again. <laughs> one plus 
Opa. So it's going to come around like that. It's basically about where her nose is. To get the idea, um, when you get used to it, you just start like you'll just start like fiddling around and just doing it really quick like this and then um you'll be like oh my god i used to mess around with this bit for ages and like and you get used to it you get used to it dead quick just put your like real faint lines in so you sort of like give yourself a guide Give yourself the best guide you possibly can though, <laughs> obviously. And it's like sort of like steps up to the nose on there. There's loads of like little steps. But then she's got a bit coming off that comes off to the side like that. And there, uh, that's how you do. That's how you get your um you mean focused out but guys honestly i cannot stress this enough it needs to be basically so light with your hand barely touch the paper do not put any marks whatsoever into the paper so i will show you now i will rub this out and you will not see it because i did it that light i hope <laughs> Because I did it so light, you will not see when I rub this out. If I've used the right rubber. I've only rubbed some of it out. I've used the wrong rubber, I shouldn't have used the white rubber. Should I use the black rubber? Should have used my black one. Oh, where's my black rubber gone? I don't like using white rubbers on white paper. I don't know why, I just don't. I like using my black rubbers. Or even the green. Even the green want to be better than the white. Let's pick all that up. I would say don't use white rubbers on white paper. Especially not the factest ones because they're absolute poo. But can you tell she's vanishing? She's pretty much vanishing now. Her other lines have gone totally and utterly gone. Them lines have gone. And she has too. Mostly. There you go. Gone. Like magic. But it's because you don't, don't use a heavy hand on your work, whatever you do. Anybody wants to know what this rubber is, this is brilliant, this rubber. Faber Castell. It is a dust free, absolutely brilliant rubber. You could, I swear you could just use it and there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no rubber. <laughs> there's nothing there absolutely nothing there and when you do get something it's like it all like sort of gathers together in one clump and you can like sort of pick it up no dust on it at all so yeah there and that's how you do your main outline but make sure you do it very very lightly okay uh, i'm gonna get going then guys Thanks again for uh, seeing, uh, for watching my videos again. And don't forget, if you see this logo, 
this is me this is Dee Dee's art portrait artist your photos brought to life um, I, you can email me at dd2205outlook.com um, my website is ddsart.com obviously you know my youtube because you are watching it so please if you like my videos hit subscribe button and i will hopefully see you in my next video thanks guys oh if you want me to do any other videos any other tutorials or anything like that then just leave me a comment below and i will help if i can okay thanks guys thanks for watching take care of yourselves out there bye